to episode three of Full Run Fridays. This is the uh, show that I do on Friday where I take a book that I love and I show every issue of it. This is kind of an homage to two things or three things, maybe the original way that I collected as a kid, getting every single issue of something. Hopefully, if I was lucky enough to get at the start of a book, getting every single issue from the start of a book on. Um, and the way I collect now where if I find a book that I like and it's well into that um, book's run, I go back and try to find every issue of that book. Um, sometimes I'm lucky enough to start at the beginning. Sometimes I'm going back chasing books. Um, I really, really enjoy this type of collecting. It's not the most um, economic. So for sure, I could read the books as digital, save a ton of money. Uh, I could even get trade paperbacks, save a ton of money and have an easier time reading, not worrying about floppy pages and stuff. But um, I choose to do this because it's my hobby. It's what I love. I love digging, digging in um, back issue bins. I love um, putting stuff in my pull list and getting it. I love reading comics in the daily. It was the way I was raised. And I think that part of me is just uh, defiantly doing it. Um, I mean, if you look down there, I do have uh, hardcovers and collected editions of books. I'm not opposed to that, but I love the runs. I love the full runs, and that's what this is, Full Run Friday. So I'm just warning you right now, if you are under the age of 18, turn this off. This is not for you. Um, this is uh, Satellite Sam is the book we're doing today by Howard Shakin and Matt Fraction, uh, Matt Fraction being the main writer, Howard Shakin being the artist, uh, Jesus Arbatov being the um, colorist, of which there was not much. Um, most of the issues are black and white. And the guy, I just looked it up so I wouldn't forget it when I did this show. And then I forgot it as soon as I did that. Ken uh, Bruzenak as the letter. I'm not familiar with that name. Not like Clayton Cowles or somebody that I know. Anyway, Satellite Sam. Um, here is the Midtown Comics exclusive to issue one. And signed by Matt Fraction down here. Every single issue is um, thematically similar, uh, bringing you in with these scantily clad uh, women's in stockings and garters and sleeves and all sorts of uh, 1950s esque uh, accoutrements. <laughs> uh, and and uh, the show, the show, the series takes place in the 50s and is about a. Um, 1950s TV show uh, whose main um, star, Satellite Sam, uh, shows up dead at the end of issue one. And um, I just want to point out that while we do have wonderful covers like this, and then all these uh, photographs, I love the layout here because each one of these is different and individual. Um, you really can think of these as individual people and wonder what their backstories are rather than just like, oh, that's the same uh, the same girl, that's the same thing. Um, but it takes place in the TV studio to start, right? And if you look at this, you know, the the so-called tawdry cover doesn't really get to the meat of what's in each issue. And that's, I think, intentional. And I think kind of in a way replicating uh, TV as being this kind of... Um, there's uh, more behind the scenes. What you see is just this glossy, like, uh, traction to get you in. Um, there's a lot more going on than just that beneath the surface. Uh, so this this um, star of the show turns up dead when his son, who is an alcoholic and um, and working on the show as an engineer, goes to his apartment to uh, find out what happened. Um, there's He finds boxes of photographs like the ones that I just showed you, and he finds um, all sorts of tawdry stuff going on, um, women's clothing and undergarments and sex toys, etc. So it becomes a mystery set against the backdrop of cutthroat 19, early 1950s TV. Um, as a matter of fact, um, issue, uh, 1951 is when it took place. So I think this is the actual first printing of A, um, a cover. This is signed by Howard and Fraction down here. Um, this is the second printing. 
And, you know, like I said, seeing these in color makes you go, ooh. And then it's black and white inside, and it's a lot of snappy, quick dialogue. It's people speaking over each other, and Fraction handles it really well. It's very dialogue heavy, but he handles it really well with, like, the engineers and the executives and the sound people and the actors all talking to each other, all, like, trying to get their thing out, while also um, sort of caring about what happened to this guy's father, but not really as long as the show goes on sort of thing. So we got issue two and three here. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's got some depictions, I should tell you, four and five. Uh, racist and, and homophobic language that fits in with the time, for sure. Um, if that's the sort of thing that, that offends you, um, then don't read it. Uh, it's, I think, done well in as much as it's... Uh, 1950s New York City dawn of the television era um, and so it kind of is the way people were back then I think it's handled that way um, issue 11 this is one of my favorite covers right here and it really is a good mystery it, it brings you in it gives you good backstories to all the side characters um, there's not a lot of throwaway to it it uh, it's absorbing and the covers are phenomenal. Uh, you say what you like about Howard Shaken, and I know some people have said some things about him and meeting him recently. Uh, I think his artwork is phenomenal, and I think the series by Matt and Howard is phenomenal. So there you have it. Full Run Friday, Satellite Sam, produced by Image Comics, 1950s. Murder mystery with sex and violence in the backdrop of 1950s television. Give it a read if you like.